Architecture grads, listen up. An architecture student's thesis project turned into reality. Habitat 67. Let's learn some of the stories behind this iconic architecture. As part of a scholarship program at a school, McGill University in Montreal, Israeli-Canadian architect Moshe Safdie traveled across North America as a student studying housing. He noticed there were predominantly two types of housing, apartment high-rises and suburban sprawl. He realized that suburbs aren't necessarily bad, but city living is important, and he wondered if people had more space and light, would they stay in the city? He returned to school with a mission to reinvent the apartment building, and his thesis, A Case for City Living, did just that. The idea was to stack concrete boxes in different geometrical configurations. Safdie was able to break the traditional form of the orthogonal high-rise by locating each box a step back from its immediate neighbor. He pioneered a new housing typology that integrated the suburban garden home and the economical high-rise apartment building. This ingenious method provided each apartment with a roof garden, a constant flow of fresh air, and a maximum of natural light. Two years later, when he was only 23 years old, Safdie's thesis advisor invited him to submit his project for the World's Exposition of 1967. The idea was accepted and became one of the 90 pavilions built that year. Habitat 67 was constructed from 354 identical boxes, all prefabricated on site. The basic modular shape was molded in a reinforced steel cage. Once cured, the concrete box was transferred to an assembly line for the insertion of electrical and mechanical systems, kitchens and bathrooms, and insulation and windows. Finally, a crane lifted each unit to its designated position. Over 50 million people came to the World's Fair that year. The public recognized in Habitat 67 the possibility that high-rise living could be more like living in a village and have the quality of life of a house than what they associated with the negatives of apartment housing. And though most all of World's Fair pavilions get disassembled upon the fair's completion, only two remain built after Expo 67 and Moshi Safi's Habitat 67 was one of them. It retained its original purpose and continues to serve as a successful housing complex. It is regarded as one of the most important buildings in the 1960s and continues to inspire today. 